It started off one Friday night when David and his friends PC Guy and French Fry were handing out playing Grand Theft Auto together. Do you like my GTA gameplay? Yes, I like your game, David. Being a criminal is really fun. Yes. I think GTA 5 is very good, but this GTA 5 is my copy. How about we just watch some TV since GTA is single player? Sure. Let's watch TV. Let's watch The Price is Right. 45 minutes later. So, did you like the food? Yes. We all did, Eric. I really liked the chicken. Thank you for all of this. You're welcome, French fry. Now, let's go into the living room and watch the news. That seems like a good idea. Here's some breaking news only GNN viewers can see. Okay. We all heard of somebody named the Chore God by now. She's done some pretty infamous stuff like making Super Mario 64 impossible with a private cheat code, and playing with radioactive material, but this time, she's pushing it to an extreme. The Chore God is making a virus involving Disney's The Wild from the year 2006 which currently has 19% on Rotten Tomatoes and earned only about $102 million worldwide against a budget of $80 million. The Chore God is fed up with everyone in the nation not liking this movie, so she's creating this virus named Wild Itis so that the wild could get praise instead of hate. Are you the next in line to get Wild Itis? Oh no. This is bad. Really, really bad. I think Wild Itis will be the end of Tyson Land for sure. I know. The world is going to be brainwashed by the Chore God by thinking that the wild is a good movie. We must come up with a plan by tomorrow. Thinking about Tyson Land being a dystopia is too intense and sad for us. Yeah, we should all go to bed now. We'll miss you, Tyson Land. Yeah, it's just like I imagined. Good morning, David. Do you want some sausage with eggs? Wait, what's wrong? Wild Idis, I saw fire on the trees and copies of the Wild Ev, and cars driving way faster than they normally did. Ah, it's okay, David. Here, sit down and we'll talk about it. Okay, Eric. David, how about we talk about the positives of this whole thing? What are they? Okay, first of all, at least there's no wild itis mob waiting for us at the front door. Eric, that is correct. No wild itis mob is a good thing. Second, our house is safe even though Tyson Land is a dystopia now. Yes, the mob can't even get us. How about we eat some breakfast, David? Good idea, Eric. Before you ask, yes. Butters is in David and PC Guy's house. Also, 22 minutes later. I think we should look for PC Guy and French Fry. I think that is a good idea, David. PC Guy? French Fry? Where are you two? David, I think they're in the dorm room. Don't be scared, PC guy and French fry. It's just us. Phew. At least it's just Eric and David. I thought you were one of you, mob. Oh yes. We've got a plan to stop wild eaters like you promised. So, what's the plan, Eric and David? Okay, here goes. Me and Eric will take turns saying lines of the plan. So, at midnight, we'll leave the house and get in my PT cruiser. It will take about 15 to 20 minutes to get to the studio, so I got brainwashed to mayor. Then we'll walk to the studio. She probably password protected the studio, so we have to wait around. Aha! Uh -huh. The window. After we get into the window, we will get into the chore God's office through the elevator. I hope 
she is asleep at 12.20 a.m., and if she is, someone like Butters or David could go into the studio and take the wild Iris gun. Then I would come back with the gun and find the reverse switch. And then we run back home. The end. Wow. That seems like a brilliant plan to me, Eric. Awesome plan, Eric. Let's do this at midnight. Good. Everyone thinks positively about our plan. Seriously? Did Samson barge in through the windows? Butters, what's wrong? I was attacked by Samson. He's in our house and waiting for us to unlock the dorm room door. I will go see if I can hear him through the door. Humans, I know you're there. Yep. Let I me in or I'll go again and you'll listen to my stories. Hey guys. We should start throwing insults about Samson and the Wild. Please don't insult me, humans. I will roar again if you... You suck. No. I do not suck. Your movie was a huge financial flop. No, the Wild was a financial success, trust me. Your stories are fake. No. They are not fake. They are true. For saying my stories are fake, I will roar again. Your movie has a 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. Stop with this false information. The Wild was a success and got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. The end. And you are a bad parent by thinking just setting off a herd of gazelles and them interrupting your penguin curling game is endangering the whole zoo. You outsmarted me this time. I'm going to go back with my gang. Eric, it's awesome that you were able to create those insults. Actually, Butters, thank PC Gay. He's the one who even came up with this idea. You're welcome, Eric and Butters. Anyways, we should get ready for our midnight stakeout. Okay, we should get ready. It is 10 o'clock right now. We still have time. About 14 hours later. Okay, is everyone ready for our midnight plans? Yes, I think so. we are. Eric, we put our go. boxes on the top of the car. Well then, let's get in the car. Are we stepping out of the door consistently? Yes, we all are, Eric. David, Butters, French Fry, are we all ready to go? Yes, yes Eric. Eric. Now Let's on to stop the while it is from spreading. Okay, our first and so far only stop is the Chore God Infected Studio. 30 to 45 minutes later due to the condition of the roads. Looks like we're here. Okay, everyone, get out. Let's walk to the studio. Shush it. Let's go to the window like we planned. Okay. Here goes nothing, Eric. And we got everyone. Okay. Let me take roll. PC guy. Here. David. Present. Butters. Here. French fry. French fry. Eric. David. Please help me. I can't get my fat body up the window. We're coming. French fry. Here. Take my hand. Approximately 17 seconds later. Okay. We're all here. Let's get in the elevator. And so, David and his friends went up the elevator to chore God. Let's all go to Chore God's room. 23 to 31 seconds later. Okay, David. Go get her. I'll try my best, Eric. Yep, she's asleep. Eric, I have the wild Ida's gun. Good. Now bring the gun to me.
David, you burn of a car. What are you doing sneaking in my studio and stealing my wild Ida's gun? Sure, Dot. Because of your gun, you turned Tyson Land into a wreck of a place. I don't care if Season Land is a dystopia. I care if everybody worships the wild. GRRR. You know what? I'm taking that. And you better not call Samson. I got it from her, Eric. Good. Now, let's find the reverse switch. Ugh. What is it now, Tor God? I'm really sorry for Wild Idas and Tyson Land becoming a dystopia. I heard from one of Zimmer Roberts' incredible rants of the wild that I'm less toxic than Samson. You should be sorry, Tor God. But we accept your apologies? That's so nice. Now, let's reverse Wild Idas. No. 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 Finally, I have the gun. Let's make Wild Actus 2.0. The, 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 the wild, the wild, the wild, the wild, the wild. Well, there goes the gun and our car. I have a feeling that Samson will do something bad with that gun. And unfortunately, I have no transportation means other than jetpacks. Well, no worries, everybody. I'm sure that we will find a way home. Let me look for any non wild Idis cars that are sitting there and not those who are entering Tyson Land. One and a half hours later. Good news. I found a 1991 Bluebird Chevy bus that's not wild Idis or entering the country. Let's go. Good. It's 2.20 a.m. at this point. There it is. Let's get on the bus. We'll miss you, Tor God. I hope you turn human by the time we come back. I'll miss you too, Eric. I hope there isn't any cute girls moving into your neighborhood. We wish you good luck too, Tor God. I can't believe we were this close to stopping Wild Idis. PC guy. Yeah. We dropped the gun out the window and gave it to Samson. Yep. And I'm pretty sure he's going to turn Wilditis into Wilditis 2.0, so that more mobs appear. This is an urgent update to Wilditis. It was going to be stopped by David, Eric, French Fry, Butters, Chua God, and PC Guy. But David dropped it and a lion named Samson caught it and now he's going to turn it into Wilditis 2.0. Can Tyson Land ever stop suffering from Wilditis? I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same. Yep, it's the same. Probably even worse. Okay, the bus is driving like it's not wild Idis. It's turning right, and the driver has their hair up into a ponytail. I can 100% guarantee that the bus driver is a female without wild Idis 1.0 or 2.0. And it's headed for our neighborhood. And there it goes. I have to tell the others. French fry, I saw a non wild Idis bus outside headed for our neighborhood. Okay, David, I'm going to see it outside. Eric, PC guy, wake up. I saw a non wild Idis bus with a U Haul trailer and it's going to our neighborhood. Okay, David. I'll go out and see what the big deal is. Butters, you up? Great. I saw our non wild Idis bus driving outside. Is it headed for our neighborhood? Yes. Now put down the controller and let's go. Later. Um, I think we should have bought a lighter TV for our summer vacation. Me too, Nack. I generally think that we should have got a newer TV. Here. Do you need any help? Yes, Ed. Me and Frankie would want some help carrying this TV over into the house. Alright, Mac. Here goes. Thank you. You're so nice, Ed. Eric, should we go up and introduce ourselves when they come back from bringing that TV in? Yes. We should definitely introduce ourselves. They look pretty cool.
What on Robert's earth are you doing here? We just want to introduce ourselves. Oh, introducing ourselves? My name is Mac. And my name is Frankie. Frankie Foster. Hi, Hi Mac. Mac. Hi, Hi, Frankie. Frankie. I'm David. David Smith. And I'm Eric. Hi, Hi David. David. Hi, Hi Eric. Eric. How about we play a game of my house? Sure, David. What's it called? Hello, everyone. My name is Blue. I hope you two like me. Hey, Blue. Sorry, but you can't just interrupt David and Frankie's conversation like that. Yep, especially since I was going to tell. So, can I introduce the imaginary friends to you? Um, sure. Okay. So, the part tree part bird is Coco, the purple one is Eduardo, the red one is Wilt, and the yellow one is Cheese. They're all quite interesting, Mac. Mac, did you make all these imaginary friends? No. We adopted them all. I did make Blue though. Still, impressive. I'm gonna get the rest of my members. Now, David. About the game? Okay, so it's called Have You Ever, Frankie. How does the game play? You'll need two to four players for the optimal game. Each player will have a set of cards, all having a question starting with Have You Ever. We play it to know more about each other. Um, David, how do you take turns? It can't be just one big free for all. Mac. The board consists of a spinner, and a wheel. If the spinner lands on you, you have to take a card out and read it. What happens if the spinner lands on you twice in a row? Then you have to spin it again. If it lands on you again after that, keep spinning until it lands on somebody else. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting game to me, David. Are you talking about the classic Have You Ever game, David? Yes, I was. Anyway, these are Mac, Frankie and the imaginary friends. French fry. Hi, Hello, Mac. Mac. Hello, Hi, Frankie. Frankie. Hey, do you want to know our names? Yeah, sure. Everybody, tell us your names. I'm PC Guy. I'm Butters. Butters Stotch. And I'm French Fry. Hi, Hi PC Guy. Hi, Hi, French Fry. Butters. Hi, PC Hi, Guy. Hi, French Fry. I think Butters looks like to be my age. Hey, Mac, you seem pretty cool. Do you want to be friends with me? Sure, Butters. Let's be friends. But we have to bring in the rest of the stuff into the house. Okay, you can do that. So, Frankie, are you moving in here permanently or not? No, Eric. We'll only be living here for the summer until Labor Day in September. Hey, Frankie, could you please let us in? Sure, let's all get in. A few moments later. Mac, do you want to hear about how I live my life? Sure, David. It looks like Tyson Land is in another crisis. Okay, so, I live like your ordinary 12-year-old human. You got your family, your friends, and whatever a 12-year-old has. Except, there's one thing off about our lives. The crisis you mentioned, it's a disease. It's called wilditis. Wait, wilditis? What is that? Okay, wilditis is a disease where everybody worships that 2006 Disney film, The Wild. The Wild? You. That movie was terrible. And it still is, Frankie. The virus was first developed by Chordot, and we were going to stop it last night. What happened when you tried to stop it? We dropped the reverse on to Samsung the Lion, who turned it into Wilditis 2.0. That's bad, David. But, I will help you stop Wilditis 2.0. Yeah, yeah, Mac. We will, we will stop, stop this, this virus, virus together. together. Please, why did the Foster's home move into David's neighborhood? That stupid Frankie Foster has caused drama with me in the past. GRR. I'm going to tell my gang that I'm going to give David and Frankie Wilditis 2.0 to end their lives. Larry, Bridget, Nigel, Benny, are you all happy that Foster's moved into David's neighborhood for the summer? No. So, the moose came up with a plan to give Wild Actus 2.0 to David and the Fosters. How, Samson? We're going to find the things that will sabotage David and Frankie Foster's lives. How, there's nothing that could separate them from being a couple, or at least good friends at this point. We're going to find the things that 
things that both Frankie and David despise, not including the one. Are you guys in with me? I'm yes, in with you, definitely. Samson. Okay, let's go. So, we're playing Have You Ever, right? Right, right. PC, PC guy. guy. Well then, let's get going. Who's spinning first? I am, PC Guy. Yeah, you go, Mac. It landed on Frankie. Frankie, go read one of your cards. Um, alright. Have you ever performed stand-up comedy? No, I haven't. Me neither. I have. I got an average of 56 out of 100 on my jokes. Alright. Let's spin again. Well, it looks like it's David's turn this time. Okay, here goes. Have you ever dropped your phone into the toilet? Yes, I did drop my Galaxy S4 on the toilet on January 20th, 2017. I had Eric buy me an S7 for a replacement. Me and Mac don't have smartphones. It landed on you twice. Spin it again, David. After the game. Hey Frankie. Is it okay if I sell my bus because I'm pretty sure we can all fit into yours. Plus yours looks like the Northern Lights. Um, okay. The whole neighborhood's together. Okay. I'm gonna try to think about how we will fit in your bus. So, Eric. Is this how we will be in the bus? Um, yeah. I think so, French fry. Okay, I'm gonna sell it. Hey, do you want to come with me to sell Eric's bus? Sure, let's take a first ride in your bus, Frankie. I'm coming with you guys. If Butters is in, I'm in with him. Yes, I'm going with you, Frankie. Alright, everyone. Let's go. French fry, watch a movie or play of you ever while we're gone. Okay. Blue, Eduardo, Wilt, let's play a game called Have You Ever. Let's start our game, French fry. I'm going first. It landed on me. Have you ever lied in your lives? No, because I hate lying. Yes, I have lied countless times. Um. Either won't tell you very often. So, we'll go to Samson's lair, get the Wild Eyes 2.0 DNA, reverse it, put it all into a machine, and put the machine in Central Tyson land. Then what? Then the Wild will cease to exist, Samson will vanish, everyone will forget about the Wild or Wild Eyes, the box office and aggregate data will be erased, and the Pixin will stop airing. What's to Pixent? A commercial that gives us the creeps and makes us think of the wild. Do you want to see it and get creeped out? Um, sure. Here you go. With uncontrolled moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis, you never know Man, how your skin will I could will wear look. headphones if and I were you, like no because that commercial you, sounds very disturbing. Okay, Frank, even though you see I will give Mac your my headphones. Of your skin, Here, take my headphones, Mac. Thanks. I don't want David and PC guy staring at Butter's iPad. Do not change or stop your asthma medicine without talking to your doctor. Help heal your skin from within. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixent. What's wrong, Mac? Nothing, Butters. I'm surprised you, me, or Frankie didn't get Wild Atus 1.0 just by watching that commercial. I have to admit, it was pretty fun meeting all of you guys, but now I have to cook dinner and clean the house. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, Bye Mac. Everyone. I hope you we'll don't have to deal with tomorrow, Dupixin in I the hope. future. Maybe Butters is right. Mac and Frankie are really cool and I hope to be friends with them. Nigel, I've found the perfect way for David and Frankie to suffer. What is it, Samson? In this video, the spark plugs are gone, making Frankie unable to start her stupid bus. Okay. What does David not like? Cars not starting? Exactly, Nigel. So tonight, we're going to take the spark plugs, so both David and Frankie would suffer. 
Go, tell the others about our plan. Okay, Samson. I will tell Bridget, Larry and Benny. Benny, Bridget, Larry, me and Samson have created the perfect plan to end David and Frankie. So, what's the plan, Nigel? We will sneak out into the Foster's home, then take the spark plugs out of Frankie's bus. That, that sounds, sounds brilliant. brilliant. Ha ha. What about Madam delivering spares? Or the fact Frankie already has spares? That probably won't stop us, Benny. Let's just do it at 12.53 a.m. Okay, Samson? Let's go. All right, gang. Let's go to David's neighborhood. After they arrived at David's house, looks like we're all here. I'm gonna try to open the hood. Ugh. Come on, open for your papa Samson. I feel like something's going on outside. Samson, I have a feeling we're being watched by Blue or Mac or Frankie. GRR. Blue. I would want you something. Nah, it's just not worth looking at anymore. Oh. Um, it's 3 a.m. already and we haven't opened the hood yet. I give up. Let's go back to my lair. <laughs> Disinfectants. Just because I failed to sabotage Frankie Foster's stupid bus doesn't mean you all get to hate me until while that dis is cured. Sometime later, are you the Samson? Yes, I believe that's true, Terence. Like the one who made this virus? Yes, while that dis 2.0. Do you need something? Yes. Can you get you, Max imaginary friend for me? I'm working on getting David and Frankie though, but okay. We'll get Mac, Blue, David, and Frankie together. Who's this David guy you're speaking about? David and his friends are the ones who live right next door to Mac and Blue. Mac and Blue were the first ones to move in though. Alright, I'm in with you. I'm even gonna send an email to Frankie and Harry to let them know that I've partnered up with you. That's fine, Samson. What a beautiful day to go out on a morning drive. Okay. Frankie gave me a spare key. I'm gonna put the spare in the ignition. Now it's the morning. Let's see if that lion and his friends succeeded. I have to tell somebody that lion hijacked the bus. Frankie, Frankie, this is urgent. What is it, Blue? This is very urgent. Last night I saw Samson the lion and his friends trying to open the bus to take the spark plugs all over. Ha ha. That's nonsense. The only people who could possibly have access to the bus are Frankie and Eric. No, Mac. I'm serious I saw Samson trying to sabotage the bus. Okay, fine. Have it your way. Anyways, guys. I've made some scrambled eggs for breakfast. Alright. Thank you, Frankie. Typing this to give you an update on my plans. I, Samson, have to say that I've partnered with Terence to stop you all. This will end Mac and Blue's relationship. I'm considering on being with Duchess to end Frankie's life as a caregiver and move away from Tyson Land. I hope you all move away from Tyson Land or get Wild Idis 2.0. Hey, Frankie, is this some kind of ritual or something? Mac? This is this not, is a, not ritual. a ritual. It's an email, it's an that, email that Samson typed, to, typed to, let to let us know that he partnered with Terence. Oh, oh no, no. Not, not, not Max. I really don't Anything want him to Terrence. suffer with his big brother. To end me I assume. Looks like we have to stop Samson as we know it. Frankie? Yes, Mac? Now thinking about Samson's email, I want to build a machine that will stop Wilditis. I will need Blue and a few others' help. Mac, how about we invite David and his gals? Although it's rare to see a good idea from you, I'll take it. Hello, Mac. You look up to something. Hi, Eric. 
I'm building a machine to stop wild ditus and I need you, PC guy, David, and Butters. Um, okay? I'll get them. David, Butters, PC guy? Yes. What is it, Eric? Mac is at the door. He wants you to come to his house and build a machine to stop wild itis with blue. Okay, Eric. I'm in because I like Mac and Frankie. All right, then. Let's go. Looks like this is gonna be fun. Making the machine. Hi, Mac. Hi, Butters, PC guy, and David. How's it going? Um, it's doing all right here. We just played some games on our PS4. Yep, that's good. Anyways, let's go to my house. Alright, me and Eric are going to get the blueprints for our machine. Phew. We got the blueprint. Those are some pretty cool blueprints, map. Alright then, let's get DNA reversing and building. Are we sure this is everything we need for this project? Yep, I'm pretty sure we have everything. Alright then, let's get DNA reversing and building. Blue, you have to at least see our machine. Ugh, fine. I'll see it. Ugh, it's not even done yet. Come on, Mac, move it. Alright, so this red liquid is the Wild Itis 2.0 DNA. If we reverse it, it will become blue. Alright, let's all reverse the DNA. Blue, can you at least put the liquid in the machine? Fine. David, I will put the liquid into the machine. This will take a long time. All right, Blue. Now it's your job to put the liquid into the machine. All right, I'll do it, Eric. Here's the hose, Blue. Do your best. All right, I will try. All right, Eric. It's hooked up. Blue, you missed something. What? You need another hose to fill up the liquid faster. Here, Mac will provide a hose for you. Here's a hose, Blue. Use it on the next hole. Ugh, he doesn't even say thank you. Alright, Eric. I'm done. You all happy now? Yes, Blue. We're all happy now. Alright, is everyone ready to see the test? Yes, yes Mac. Mac. We're Let's all ready. start the machine. Hi, doggies. I know it was you, jeez. I like games. That's not an answer, jeez. Blue, just stop fighting with him and get it out. Frankie can take cheese away if he wants to give the machine wild itis some more. Ugh, fine. I'll get it out. Hi, doggy. Cheese, you've been a bad boy. I pooted. What you did was give Max machine wild itis. You're not grounded. But don't go near their machine again. I'm the cowboy. Yep. Now, I'm gonna take you into the house. There. I destroyed the DVD. Good for you, Blue. But because of cheese, we have to spend more time reversing the DNA. Alright. Is everyone ready to test our machine for realist time? Yes, Mac. I'm ready. Alright, Cody. Are you a Wild Ditus 1.0 or 2.0 infected? Say the wild for 1.0, say Samson for 2.0. The wild. Alright. The machine will just scan you, and will play some clips depending on your wild itis version. The wild, the wild, the wild. Scanning. Cody Maverick, age 17, wild itis 1.0 infected. Headphones playing the loud house for 60 seconds. Did it work? Yep. Time to get surfing. Is the machine working? Yes, yes it is, is, Frankie. That's good. May I take a picture of all of you with the machine? That means you too, Bloom. All right, Frankie. I'll be in the picture. All right. It looks like we're all ready. Let me get my camera ready. All right, everyone. Say Wild Itis. Wild Itis. That's a nice picture that I just took. Yep, yeah, it sure is, Frankie. You guys can have some of my dinner with French Fry and the others while I share the picture onto Facebook. Wait, it's dinner time already? 
Do you like Frankie's spaghetti? Co, 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 co. Yes, French fry. I really, really, really like it. I'm glad to hear that you guys all like it. Yep, it's true. Frankie makes really good food. But we've only had her food once, and it's wonderful. David, I need help with my computer over here. All right, Frankie, I'm coming. All right, so, what's wrong with your computer? This is an iMac G5. I've been struggling to get it online for the past three to four years, and today, it finally quit. Oh, um, have you tried rebooting? Yes. Are you connected to the home network? Yes. Are you on Ethernet? Yes. Do you have an Airport Extreme card? Yes, but it's broken. Well, unless you have a spare Airport Extreme card, I can't really help. But, I have a solution, and that's giving you a new computer. Great. This has been slow since 2011, and I want to see what the new computer is. Well then, let's go to my place. Here it is, Frankie. Is it Windows? I don't think I've touched one of these since 1999. Yes, it's Windows. Windows 10 to be exact. Do you know what the specifications are? Yes, I do. It's a Core 2 Duo T6670 at 2.2 GHz, 4 GB of RAM, and 320 GB of storage. Great. I'm actually likely to learn the mechanics of modern Windows with this new laptop. Yep. I hope you have a good time with it. I'm gonna go back to your house and finish my dinner. Thank you for the computer, David. You're welcome, Frankie. Hello. Frankie posted the picture of the machine with David and his friends. Mac, is it okay if we just leave for the night? Yes, it is. French fry. Bye, Bye Mac. Bye, Bye, Blue. Hey, everyone. Did you all like the food? Co si, Co -co. Frankie. Co -co -co. We loved it. I'm glad to hear that. I'm going to watch the movie with you guys. Mac, may I talk to you about something? Sure, Frankie. Go ahead. Well, Mac, David got me a new laptop that runs Windows 10 last night, and I really like it. Oh, that's really nice of him to give you that laptop. And I have The Sims 3 on it if you want to play sometime. That's good, Frankie. Coco, 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 Coco. Thank you, Coco. I really appreciate it. Coco, Coco, Coco. Let's look up Tyson Land. Seems like there's still news about Wild Idis. Wait. Hold up. Is this fake? Did Tyson Land seriously go above 100,000 people? I'm gonna talk to Eric about what we should do for 100,000. Hello, Frankie. What's up? I looked up Tyson Land, and discovered that the population just went over 100,000 people. Yeah. I noticed that too. How about we throw a party with David and the imaginary friends? That seems like a great idea, Eric. And we'll bring the wild guy to stop her. Good. Now let's get in the house. Hi Eric. Hi Frankie. Hi, Hi David. David. Tyson Land just hit 100,000 people, so we're discussing about a party. Are we going to bring the wild eye to stop her? Of course, David. Why wouldn't we? All right. I'm gonna try to carry the machine up to the bus. Hi, Hi Mac. Mac. How's, it, How's going? it going? It's doing all right. Are you discussing a 100,000 party? There it is. Let's take it to our bus. Frankie, I need your help. I'm coming, David. What do you need help with? I can't carry the machine alone. Here. I'll carry one side, and you carry the other.
That was hard getting this up the stairs. But we still have to get this up to the bus. Here, Frankie. Do you need any help? Sure, Mac. We'd love to have you help. All right then, let's go, Mac. Yay, Mac and Frankie, do you want to join me on a group high five? Sure. We'd love to, David. Let's brainstorm about where we will put the Wild Eye Stopper and host the party. How about we put in Central by the studio? I'm in with David. Let's put it in Central. To be honest, I think we should put it in welcome because it's the first city you encounter. I disagree with all of your opinions. We should put it in Driftwood. Blue, that's a terrible idea. Why is it a terrible idea? Because there's only like 50 people living there, and we need all wild itis infectants gone. In my opinion, I'd have to go with David and Max's idea of putting it in Central Tyson Land. Hmm, it's not my idea that got chosen by Frankie, but I'm okay with it. I disagree with all of you. Good job, Frankie, for establishing our idea as canon. Alright. Are we ready to bring this thing to Central? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. You know, Frankie. Your bus is actually similar to the one I get to school in every day. That's so sweet, David. You're welcome, Frankie. Alright, everyone. Let's bring the machine over to the studio. Yes, Frankie. We'll carry the machine. I'm not helping you, David. Blue, you have to at least help us bring the decorations in. Just leave him be, Eric. Now let's get the decorations for our party. Mac, watch the machine while I, Frankie, and Eric get the decorations. Alright David, I will look after the machine. I'm Mac's best friend, so I should bring his sign over to him. By the way guys, I'm gonna pick up French Fry, Eduardo, PC Guy, Cheese, Weld, and Coco, grab a zero, one or K, I and someone else will grab the rest. All right, Frankie. Wait a minute. Where's Frankie? Oh, Frankie. She went back to the house to pick up everyone else. All right, at least she's not getting wild at us. Attention, all Tyson Land residents. David Smith and his set up a 100,000 party that will cure wild itis. If you are a wild itis infectant, attend the party. Repeat. If you are a wild itis infectant, attend the party. Nigel is cute like a stuffed animal. Wait, are you Nigel? No, I'm not Nigel. I'm Mac. I can't believe Nigel is going to erase my virus. Scanning. Dash, age 23, wild itis 1.0 infectant. Playing Zootopia for 90 seconds. Glad to be back. Where am I? Am I in Central? Welcome to our party. I am David. Hi, David. I'm Dash. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, Dash. Dash. Mac, I think this will fit more than one person. Yep, it will fit more than two people at a time. Mac, I'd never expected over 13,000 people to show up. Yep, we couldn't have cured everyone if Dash hadn't cloned the wild to stopper. You're welcome, Mac. Wait, what's going on? It's fine. Frankie is just passing by. All the spots here are taken. Let's just go to another floor and park. Phew! We found a good parking spot. Alright, so I'll carry the zero and one of you guys can carry the one. I'll carry the uno, Frankie. 
Thank you, Eduardo. Hey guys. Hey, hey Frankie. Frankie. How did you get this many wild eye stoppers? Frankie, one of the first guests we had was named Dash. He was kind enough to clone the wild eye stopper and put it along the streets. That was really nice of him to do that. Hey Frankie, I'm Dash. Hey Dash. What have you been up to? Nothing much. I got my wild eye cure though. I'm getting quite hungry. Should we go to the food court? Sure, Frankie. Let's eat some famous delights. Welcome to the food corner. How may I help you? Um, I'd like two pizzas and a large Coke drink, please. No problem. $11.23, please. Here's $30. Thanks. Your change is $18.77. Thank you. Did you like the pizza? Um, it's alright, David. I prefer to order some Pizza Hut or make my own though. I agree with Frankie. I don't eat it, but I don't like it either. Co, 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 co. Hey, what's your name? I'm Moana. I'm Frankie. Moana, what have you been up to lately? Ma, it said this party was pretty cool. Yes, it is cool. We cured 70,000 infectants already. Wow, 70,000? That's insane. Anyways, Frankie, I'm going to see Ma and Hey Hey to see how they're doing. Bye, Moana. I'll see you sooner or later. Hey, hey don't, don't be here. here. I think, I think that, that line was just, just a sound, sound effect. effect. Anyways, Anyways, let's, let's get, get back, back to partying. partying. Ugh. Why haven't my slaves come back yet? That's it. I will roar two more times. Yeah, we're still having fun despite those dodgy lion roars. Do you agree, Mac? Yeah, right on, Frankie. That's it. Since nobody is worshipping me and worshipping David and Mac instead, Bridget, initiate the Samsung tech. Bring Larry, Nigel, and Benny with you. Great, you're here. Incoming, Bridget. Alright, listen up. We will have the Frankie Foster's party and crash the party. Our only ammo will be our almost infinite supply of DVDs of the wine. We will use these two and the cure and bring Wild Actus 2.0 to the party. Okay. So, are you guys in with me? Yeah, that Sam. sounds brilliant. Let's do this. Let's end Frankie. Great, let's go. Woohoo. Go, Samson. Oh no, not again. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry guys, guys, but those, those line roars weren't, weren't sound, sound effects. effects. Samson is nearby. nearby. I, I have, have to say to and Del. Del. Come on, D and Del, let's get out of here. Alright, Samson's here. I'd like to talk with Frankie, please. You mean that rat head that I saw at the food corner? Yes. Bridget, fire. Frankie, good job on curing 75,000 infectants. Thank you. Not. Ha ha ha, I tricked you, Frankie. I knew it. You were lying about how proud you were for me and Mac curing over 75,000 infectants, and you ruined it with your stupid tank. No. I'm not lying. Just see the wild, it will be awesome. Well, you're still lying. That the wild is a great movie myth is fake. I saw that thing in 2006 and I threw the desk away. No, I'm not lying, you are. I just wanted to crash your party because I just wanted to have fun. You're still lying, Samson. Eduardo, attack him. Okay, Frankie. You eat. Tra Eduardo, I will roar at you for trying to attack me. Ah, I can apostrophe to take his breath. Wah. You know what? 
This battle ain't worth anything anymore. We're quitting. Good. Quit all you want, but you will never have enough strength to defeat me in Wild at 2.0. Just shut up. Ugh. We were this close to stopping Wild Ditus. Even closer than when we went into Chore God's studio. But Samson came in with his stupid tank and brought the infectants to sleep. Yep, French fry. Coco, Coco, Coco. Yeah, I hate him too, Coco. Yep, we all hate him. Hey, everyone. Look at what I found. That is it, Samson? See, si, there's this ad called Duprixent. And we went to this David Smith Reborn episode and Mac got tortured by it. How about we trap Mac in a room where the set is always on? Yes, go Terrence. That's a great idea. I yes, agree with both Samson team. and Terrence. Eric, you know what? I'm tired of fighting Wild Idas and I just wanna get it myself. Me too. It's safe to say Samson won. Yeah. I'm ready to give up fighting Wild Itis. Hey, why are these people moving into our neighborhood? What? New people? Where are they? They are getting out of their car now. Just watch. Hugh, we made it to a safe place without Wild Itis. I know, Lori. This is like the only neighborhood without Wild Itis. Yep, now let's get out and introduce ourselves. I hope they don't ask to stop Wild Ditus. Here's five people. Um, hello guys. I'm David Smith. Hey, David. How's it going? Um, it's doing all right here. How are you doing? You can call us Lyson and Lori. I'm Lyson. Hey, Lyson, Lori, do you want to know our names? Sure. What are they? Okay, I'm Eric. I'm PC Guy. I'm French Fry. And I'm Butters. Thank you for telling us your names, guys. Do you want to hear a story? Sure, Laurie. I, I want to hear it. it. All right, here goes. This morning I was sleeping at 3 a.m. Yes, I was sleeping at 3 a.m. too, Wizen, when suddenly Lincoln barged in my room, doing weird stuff. Samson, my hero. Wake up. Huh. Samson? Who is he? Wait. How did you get into my room? My hero is not Ace Savvy anymore, it's Samson. Hey, it's that lion from the wild. Where's Lenny? Oh, you mean Bridget? She left the house to make out with Benny. I know. Wild Idas came to our house. Believe in Samson, I want you to stranger. Again. Oh no. no. More sports. Almost the, the whole wild, house the has Wild Larry, Idas. Samson, I need to get Wizen now. Wizen, wake up so we can get out of here. What? What the heck is going on? Where are we going? Our house has Wild Idas. We are going to a safe place without it, Wizen. Alright then. Consider me up. Where do wild humans sleep? We're trying to leave. In the wild. Can you get please it? stop trolling us? We're trying to leave, not get wild at it. Come on, Wizen. We can still make it to Vanilla. <laughs> and that's a story about how we escaped wild itis. Wow. Great job telling that story. We actually feel bad for your family getting wild itis. So, are you going to cure wild itis and save our family? Um, sure. Great, let's go. Yay, Lyson, do you want to meet the neighbors? They're really nice people. Sure, David. Okay, let's go. Hey David, who is that next to you? That's Lyson. He just moved into our neighborhood. Lyson, say hello to Mac. Hi Mac. Hey Lyson. Do you want to meet the rest of us? Sure, Mac. I want to see them all. Alright, everybody, let's go inside. Lyson, this is Blue and Coco. Coco, Coco. Oh no, not another one. We already have enough people as is. Blue, please be positive about Lyson. I'm pretty sure that his family got wild itis. Let's find the others. Okay, 
I'll be coming with you. Listen, this is the upstairs. This is where you have sleepovers with Mac. Hello, David. Who is that with you? Hi, Eduardo. This is Lyson. Say hi to him. Hi. Hello, Eduardo. Hello, Lyson. Do you want to meet the rest of us? Yes, Eduardo. Let's go. Lyson, here is Wilt. He's a pretty tall guy. Hello, Lyson. Are you having a good day so far? Yes, I am, Wilt. Last night, we barely escaped Wilditis. That's great. Do you want to see the others, Wyson? Yes. Let's go. All right, Wyson. This is Frankie. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, Frankie, you um, think he's crashing uh, on you? Um, H -M -M. Um, I think I we should take him away and we can have a talk. Because. Don't worry, Frankie, I think he was just crushing on you. Um, Lyson, we need to talk about what happened with Frankie. Um, what do you mean? I mean that time when we were in her room and you started crushing. Yes, she's just so hot. That's the reason why I stuttered in the first place. Well, she's like 20 years old, and you're 10. Oh, I thought she was 16 or 17 like Lori. I'll still bet Frankie is a nice person. I doubt that she won't be a nice person to you. Anyways, Lyson, let's start our new plan. All right, we're doing it at your house. All right, Laurie and Frankie, it's evening. Tell us the final plan. Okay, let's do this, guys. How about we start with Laurie? Thanks, David. Anyways, so what we're going to do is to drive to that madman Samson's lair. Next, we'll find an entrance to the lair. Then, we'll kill Samson and his gang. We'll reverse the Wilditis 2.0 DNA, and put it into a gun. And finally, we're going to take off with the guns. And that's our plan, guys. You wanna know something, Lori? What is it, Frankie? Did you know that I got a bus, Lori? That's great. How about we ride the bus to the lair? Sure. I have it parked in my garage. I'm going to put it by my house tomorrow morning. Please meet me on the bus by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. All that right. sounds good. See ya. Frankie. Frankie. All right, then. We'll have dinner at our houses. Rise and shine, Wizen. It's 6.30 in the morning, and Frankie said that she wants you on the bus by 8 o'clock, so get ready. Okay, Lori. I will get ready. I'm going to get ready too. All right, Wizen. Did you get dressed? Yes. Did you eat some waffles? Yes. Are you bringing your Game Boy with you? You need some entertainment while we're on our way. It's a DS, Lori. All I have for it are GBA games. Anyways, yes. I'm bringing my game. All right, let's go. All right, everyone. Today marks the day we will be going to Samson's Lair and ending Wild Otis 2.0 once and for all. But, I don't know the directions to Samson's Lair. I got you, Frankie. I'm getting the directions to Samson's Lair right now. Thank you very much, David. I really appreciate it. Alright, Frankie, I got them. Thank you, David. No problem. He's on the west side of Tyson Land at around 7000 West. Thanks for the information, David. Anyways, are we ready to hit the road? Yes. yes. Let's stop so Samson. All right then, let's go. Make sure you behave your best, otherwise we're turning around. Yes, Frankie. Let's I just can't wait to meet Samson, Samson to his desk. I'm very excited for this day because Wild Samson's taking kill, over kill, the kill, world kill. will stop. I agree with you, Coco. I want Samson to end too. 
I can't Plan wait to kill Samson. To He's been torture for us. All right, everyone. We're here. Let's get out of the bus and go stop Samson. Good. All right. Let's go Samson. Let's go. I see another bus size entrance. All right, Lyson. Let's get back in the bus and go through the entrance. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. Hey, Mr. Snake, could you move it? We're trying to stop Samson. Seriously, did Samson need this much security? He won't move. You know what? I have a gun, and I'm not afraid to use it. Whoa, you're not going to kill somebody with that gun, aren't you? No. Of course I'm not going to kill anyone. I'm going to get out of the bus and threaten him. Good. You go show him. Move. Now. Ugh. I will move. I couldn't hold this protection for forever. Good. That bastard's gone. It was great how you were able to get out of there alive. Why? Thanks. No problem. We're moving on now. HMM. I hope that bus isn't another one of Samson's vehicles. I think it's another non-wild Idis infectant going to stop Samson. I agree with him. Me too. All right, guys. Let's fight Samson. Finally. It's about time. Ah, branching paths. We meet again. Uh, I feel like the smart decision is to split up and fight somebody else. There's five animals in the wild, right? Yes. Okay, so, there's a lion, obviously Samson, a giraffe, a teddy bear, a snake we just saw blocking the road, and a squirrel. I think their names are Brigitte, Nigel, Larry, and Benny. Nice, French fry. I think those are the names. Thank you, Lori. Alright, guys. Me, Lori, and Coco will find Bridget. As for David, Eduardo, and French Fry, you will find Samson, Mac, Butters, and Wyson, you will find Benny. As for PC Guy, Eric, and Wilt, you will find Larry, and for the rest of you, you will find Nigel. We got it? We got it. Then let's go already. Look, Samson probably smacked them to sleep. Hey Lyson, what are you doing? I'm going to try to wake them up. That's so sweet, Lyson. Let's just go. It'll be smarter and faster, and we'll get to that squirrel faster. Hey, wake up. We're here to save you. What day of the week is it? <laughs> Who are you? It's good to see you up. Anyways, my name what? is Lice and Loud. It can't be. Also, it's We've Saturday, May 4th, 2019. It's fine. You need that rest anyways. Benny, where are you? We found you, Mac. We're looking to fight. Now it's time to I'm send you to the Dupix and buddy. Room. We were fighting Samson and suddenly... Put me down right now. Wait. Who's that they're holding? That's Mac. He's one of my friends. Thy goat be to your hopes and dreams? Hey, don't shove me in there. Great, I will- Yes, Hi, Samson. Can well, you start to I better run away and find the next group and tell them. Help me now. What? Help. Hey. Help. Help Who me. put that menace this of a commercial on? Me. With Frank, this is urgent. You never know how what your skin will look. Mac got kidnapped and now that I was playing in the room, he's in. Okay, the then. 
But That's even though you see and feel your eczema on the surface of your skin, there's a racket going on by that door. Deep within Let's your skin, go see what that is. Action. If you have asthma and are taking asthma medicines, do not change or All stop right. your asthma medicine Here without comes talking Wyther. to your doctor. Let's send blood Help some heal shame. your skin from within. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixent. Oh, great. The ad's new younger brother came on. So, Matt needs our help, and I've got an idea to open this door up. And what's the idea? We'll put Eduardo on the door handle, and everyone else will hang on to him to open the door. Coco, co, kill Coco. All right, everyone. Are you ready? Dempul. Co. Yes. Yes, Eduardo. Hey. Not only did we open the door, it came flying. And that's a good thing. And Max in there. Now I'm going to see Mac. Is that okay? No problem. Frankie. Mac. Thank goodness you're okay. So, Frankie, what did you do to open the door? We all lined up at the door and then we were pulling on Eduardo who has holding the door handle. Also, may I turn that off? Yes. Go ahead and turn With it off. Uncontrolled moderate to severe eczema or atopic right, dermatitis. Frankie, you never know how your off. skin will Good. look. And it can now, feel like no matter we were pulling on Eduardo and the door came flying apart on our second pull. That's awesome, Frankie. Though I need to go out of this room to get fresh air. That would be a good idea, Mac. Wait, who are you? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the green skin people. So, what are your names, girls? My name is Dot. How are you? Hello, guys. What's your name? I'm Dee. I'm Frankie. And I'm Mac. Like in Macintosh? Yeah, but without the Entosh. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mac and Frankie. And it's nice to meet you too, Dot and Dee. And we have one more to show you. So, you must be Frankie and Mac. Yes. I'm Frankie. Well, it's nice to meet you too, Frankie. I'm Dell. And it's nice to meet you too, Dell. All right, everybody. Listen up. All right, what? Okay. Some of our teens will have a new partner. We just met Dot, D, and Dell, which means three teens will be updated. So, who's going to be updated? So, Dot will join me, Frankie, and Coco. D will join Cheese and Blue. And finally, Dell will join Wizen, Mac and butters. All right, let's go. Listen. Yes, let's go. All right, Samson, you're going down. Ugh. I'm trying to win this game here. Bad fighter Eduardo, good for nothing David, and fat guy French Fry. What game? Fortnite. Now let me get my ultimate number one victory royale. Oop. It's not fighting unless it turns off that stupid game. Here, I'll deal with this. Hey, what happened? Good, it's gone. Hey, you can't just take my new PC and put it in the acid. Yes, I just did. Well, I was about to win until you showed up and threw my PC away. Well, Sam, Sam, your game was stupid. Besides, you have another one somewhere, right? Yes, but it's so old and so slow. I would never use that thing again. Too bad, Sam Stone. Just use the PC anyways. It can't be that bad. Fine. I'll use that stupid thing, stupid Smith. I'll never get a victory royal in that game. Good for you. Now my friends will show up and find you. Alright, Samson, you and your gang are over. Yeah, we might be outnumbered by them, Samson. But we're all stronger than them. We can beat them to a pulp. No, you're not. I'm going to eliminate your squirrel Benny. Please, don't do this to me. I'm the smart one in the group. Well, who's the smart one now? Bye, Benny. Have a good day in hell. Ugh. I got beaten by an eight-year-old of all people. You go, Mac and Cheese. Dot, just call me Mac. Alright then. Good to know. Let's fight. Here. Me and Little Blue will kill the koala too. Help me push him. Hey, what are you doing? We're killing you, Pineapple Head. Well, say hello to your fate. Please. 
I beg 100 bananas to save You're me from the funny, deadly acid. You're not funny, Nigel. That was way too easy. You know what? It's time for the warm up now. Warm up, bad parent Eric. Throwing the same insults. Trust me. We've got new insults. Yeah? Like what? You're a pervert. You like to scare people with your roar while they're in the bathroom. What? I don't do it very often. Well, what about last week when you snuck up on Butters? Well, I wanted to scare you. That wasn't me being a pervert. You are a heartless monster. You caused the entirety of Tyson Land to fall under slavery. Yeah, I agree with Mac. I am not heartless. I love my friends, and I love Ryan. Well, who cares about your friends and Ryan? It doesn't matter if a hundred thousand people don't like you. We care about my friends. You, Mac, D, and Blair are heartless for killing Nigel and Benny. Shut up, Samkin. They deserved it anyways. Oh, and speaking of your friends, Larry, you're too annoying. Immediate, you're nothing. Okay then. Your insults mean nothing, Eduardo. Almost an hour later. You suck. No, you suck more. Actually no, you suck the most. No, you just suck the most most. You know what? This fight has gone for quite too long and all these insults. Time to the- Yeah. You go, Eduardo. Hey. What do you think you're doing? I am going to throw you annoying snake into the acid. Don't you dare do it. Tobar. Tra. A H H. I'm burning. I'm burning. This stupid acid burns. You know what, Eduardo? You're a heartless monster. Don't go killing my friends for no reason. How dare you? You hurt my feelings. Wa. You know what? I'm moving to the front so I can get you. You don't just hurt my friend's feelings like that. You're just a stupid, little, insignificant child. Or you got it to us. Prepare for me to dominate you then. Wait a minute, is that a Nerf gun? <laughs> what are you gonna do to us with it? Shoot bullets on the ground so we can eat them. I'm not stupid. I'm gonna shoot you with it and push you closer to the acid. Yes, Wyson. Go for it. Plus. This gun is motorized so it can shoot multiple bullets at once. Hey, hey. Is that supposed to make your Nerf gun any more scary to me? Watch. No. My eye. Good job, Wyson. Now try to aim for Samson's eye. No, yes. don't you dare do I'll it. Do gun it. child Lord. Wyson. You know what, Samson? I'm gonna use this last bullet I have to hit you right in your eye. You've caused us non wilditis infectants great pain and misery over the past week. Yes. Yes. My eye. I'm scared of children with nep guns. Yeah, me too. They're painful. Hey guys, we're so close. Now all we have to do is to push them into the acid. No, no, no. Yes. Don't you dare Daddy. push us into there. Let's go. Oh no. It's too late now. Come on, everyone, lift. Please, don't do this to us. We didn't deserve it. Yes, you do deserve this. No, we didn't. We are. Cry all you want, Bridget, because it is time to die. Please, please, please. I want to live. Okay, French Fry, Eduardo, and everyone else. Throw them into the acid. Okay, Frankie. Oh, wow, well, no. I'm dying. Ah. Uh, why did I make this layer around deadly pink acid? You built the layer around deadly pink acid because you're stupid. I already feel a lot better now that Samson and his friends are gone. Me too, PC guy. Hey guys, remember our plan? We're gonna get the guns now. Oh. Right, Laurie. Except the thing is, we don't know where the guns are. All right, I'll figure out where the guns are and lead you guys to it. Is that okay? Yes, yes that would be okay. okay. Del. Okay, Mac. Let's check Samson's old office. All right, Del. Let's go. Let's split up. I'll look along the left and you'll go the right. Okay, Mac. Okay, Del. I'll look there. Whoa. What's these? I'm gonna go check them.
This must be Bridget and Benny's old room. No guns here. I'm gonna try the next door. What the hell? This is just an empty room with a giant DVD of the wild and no guns. HMM. What's behind this strange curtain? Yep, yeah, this is it. Hey, Mac, I found the guns. Wait, really? Yes, really. Come take a peek. Yep, I see them. And they look huge. Come on, let's tell the others we found them. Right on, Dell. Hey, Mac. Did you guys find them yet? As a matter of fact, we did find them. Come on. Follow us there. I bet they're huge, not like the gun we dropped at Choicon Studio. Me too, David. All right, Mac and Dell, what are we doing now? Okay. Here's what we're doing. There are four guns in this room. They are huge, but I think they can be carried by a regular person. Me, Dell, PC guy, and French Fry will go in here and get them while you guys watch from behind. Good luck, guys. We'll see you soon. Okay, Eric. Mac, thank you for including me in your plan. I'm so excited. I'll bet you'll do good. Yes. I'll make sure nothing goes wrong. Good. I just want Wild Idas to be over. Anyways, let's go. Alright, guys. Are we ready to roll? Yes, of course I am. Then let's get it. Hey, I got it. Just a little higher. I got mine too. Me three. Oh. French fry? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay, PC guy, but I'm sure I won't be able to. Oh, make it down. Activated self-destruct sequence. Lair will self-destruct in about T minus two and a half minutes. I'm so so sorry. It was an accident. But still, we gotta get out of here fast. Come on, everyone. There's no time to waste. We wouldn't be dying if it weren't for that self-destruct button. Blue, it was a stupid accident. I fell on the ladder. Hey Frankie, I want to tell you something. What? What is it? Dot. That bus you saw when you first parked. That's mine. Oh cool. Rock on, Dot. Lair self-destructing in T-2 minutes. All entrances now closed. Okay, time for a quick group meeting. You know we don't have enough time for that. Right, but we have to get out ASAP. So I'm having the imaginary friends, D, Dell, Mac, Weissen, and Lori ride in Dot's bus to save speed. Brilliant idea, actually. Let's go. Alright everyone. Hang on tight. Come on, start. You know we're in a huge hurry. I'm sorry. This bus is really hard to start. Let's follow them. Do you think they'll catch up with us? Yes. They'll definitely catch up with us sooner or later. Good. I was scared that we were losing them for a moment. Lair self-destructing in T-60 seconds. Look. Here they come right now. Hello, Hi, doggies. David. Hello, Frankie. Thank you for assisting us during the fight. Hi, Dell. Thanks, Thanks for, for finding so the guns for us. Alright guys, this is a huge jump. If you're not holding on tight already, then hold on tight. Yes, I am holding on tight. I can see it. The exit. Hang on tight. This is gonna be a jump. Yes, yes I am. Frankie. Frankie. I'm hanging on. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Some time later. Hey Dot. Hey there. Frankie. What's up? 
that escape was actually a lot of fun. Plus everyone of Samson's allies is definitely dead, makes curing wild Otis all the more easier, yeah. Anyways, let's do it. I'll do the south side and you'll do the north side. I'll meet you at the house, sounds good to me, Frankie. And that was, the story of Wild Ditus. Thanks for watching.